built by a former AMA racer named Jim Hall. Uh, Jim Hall. Yeah. He, uh, he's known as like the fastest guy in Kansas City. Um, All right, take us around and show us what it's about then. What well, let's it? start in the front. Uh, front, it's got a front end off of uh, R1. It's got Olin Superbike. Uh, it's got a custom Olin shock made specifically for this particular bike. Not just SE1, but this this SE1. Why is that? Because the linkages? Yeah, the steering damper on here, the GPR, oh, and he had it re nice. And so now, like... To make it stiffer or looser uh, than normal? Yeah, way stiffer. So now, like, zero is turned all the way up, basically. Uh, those stock calipers for an R1 or yeah. it's for this one? Yeah, for the R1, yeah. It's, uh, oh, I, I was riding and I was mentioning, like, I it felt like it could use more brake. But uh, it could also be the pads. What pads are you running? Uh, Vestra RJL. Are those their best race ones, the RJLs? Uh, I don't think they are. I think they're, uh, they are a race one, but they okay. lower one on there. What's uh, the compression on the front forks at right now? What's the range or and what is it at? Do you remember? No, I didn't get that information whenever I bought it. No, did you check? Have you done it though? Have you no. gone through it? Huh. Oh, okay. Well, it's something we should be going through then. Certainly before tomorrow's ride, we'll check what it's at and I can make, because right now I'm thinking I, want, I could put a little more compression on the front as an example. First time riding FC1, I believe. He says this is a GP shift too. Oh yeah. Oh, the seat is so low and comfy. All right, on the road with a new motorcycle. Thanks to Josh in front of me. These are both of his bikes. Whoa, so much different than when I last rode. Damn these stupid things. You have to hold it. All right, so this is the review of the FC1. The special one he's got here with Olin suspension front and back and probably a steering stabilizer or a bunch of little stuff. Okay, he's moving the body. I wonder if I can use this bike as like a, a street race bike. All right, we're cruising now. We're finally at 55. Get a feel for those tires. It's got a really old, nasty looking front. It's so weird trying to move your body on one of these slow seats. It's so low. So we're heading towards Boonville. I, so I drove down this road earlier on my, with my truck and trailer and this road wasn't so bad, but the Mountain View Road I took earlier was just be horrible. This one's much smoother. Warming up that engine, brakes, mine, transmission, suspension, GP shift. And it's California, so it's legal to lane split. As you can see. It's good, we're gonna have a good ride today, I think. Music. Ah, we got some music going. I'm wearing my Schubert S2 helmet. Here we go. We're actually going. I'm on a ride. I'm on a motorcycle ride. Woo! I'm actually wearing a new Schubert helmet. Brand new S2 size medium so I can have two mediums for my student and I without having to change the cheek pads and I put a new mic in I can uh, see it it's right beside my mouth hopefully you guys can uh, hopefully you can uh, you know hear me good oh yeah boom 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 rear brake rear brake Whoa, the 
FC1. I don't own the bike. What? Not so much power, but seven, eight grand. Oh, look at this road. I wish I had a race bike, like Pike's Peak. How many gears we drop? Two gears. The transition is tough. They could use some dyno tuning from like the on-off transition. You can't go so better off to use the torque. My phone is in my chest and it's switching the volume on me when I move. Yeah, yeah, this is the roads are nice. The front end, it's so weird with the handlebars so high. you think I'd be used to it from the, the Supermoto, but they're really skinny. Trail that rear brake, front brake. Yeah, the sun is in and out of your vision. Heck, Josh was saying it's like bright and then it's dark. All right. Well, we caught ourselves an F350 or something. Like my truck, the lifted 4x4. Now that we're actually riding them, I feel happier that I'm wearing my full leathers. <laughs> we're gonna have a little more spirited of a ride with this FC1 than I figured. There it is. Oh, no, he's gonna wait for it. No, nope. he'll make it. That first gear is slow. California, this is legal to split lanes, split the cars. Don't come down on me, officers. I think that's third. Oh yeah. Trail the rear brake to help tighten the line right now. I think it should take some air out of the rear tire. I'd like it to be like 30, not 34. Well, I'll give it a try. This is what he normally runs, but Josh is also a much heavier guy than me. Where's the power, 1,000? This road is just fantastic. It's pretty smooth for a bike. The bike could use some torque. Okay, so it's downshift here. Whoa, whoa! Gotta trust that tire a little bit, huh? You can feel it not super trustworthy. <laughs> Woo! 25. Sandy. Because the handlebars are so angled back, I gotta use my wrist. We might be coming up to where I was sleeping last night and this morning. Just having my morning breakfast. I'm on my way to Ukiah. Oh, it's really bright. I need some sunglasses. I think I hear the pipe popping. I'll have to ask Josh if he's actually had it dyno tuned or not. One by. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm rolling on a consistent throttle. I got my foot on the rear brake, a little bit on the front, and then roll back on the throttle, releasing the rear brake. I use them all in conjunction, except for it's difficult on these right-handers. Oh, there I use it right there. What a wonderful road. I wish I had some slicks on it though. Could definitely use some slicks. This, what can I expect out of these old street tires that are designed for long distance? Not, that's where I slept right there. Who would have thought actually I have to work to keep up? Oh, we got another little Honda. Oh, I think he's signaling for the car to pull over. <laughs> Have you had this bike dyno tuned at all? Yeah, uh, 140 at the wheel. I just noticed that the transition from off to on is really like abrupt. So he didn't tune your transitions then. There's a certain way they do that with the power commander and they trace it. They use the tracer tool because that's what you know, it's like do it do on and off, right? Well, I guess I haven't had it uh, tuned. I just had a dynode. It's just got a, uh, a map offline on that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's never, it's been dynoed to see where it's at, but not tuned. Gotcha. Yeah. It's, that was fun. That was real fun. I'm like, I actually got to work to keep up with you on this bike because I don't know about those lean angles on those tires, right? All right, we're back, guys. We're still on our way uh, down the highway, the same highway to Boonville. Maybe we're going to find Charming. We'll find some bikers. Thank you, sir. Give him a little wave. Everyone's really nice to bikers in California overall, I'd say. When you look at their full spectrum. Woo! Little bump down. Look at that view. So much better than driving my damn truck and trailer. But I do have a bed in there, and this thing doesn't. Drop the gear. Look through. Try to look ahead, guys. Even more important, you don't know where the road goes. Just connect the dots. Oh, this thing could use some more brakes. Like another whole nother caliper. <laughs> Drop the gear. He's falling over. Thank you, sir. I'm trying to think about suspension changes, all sorts of stuff to make the bike improve. what it's doing, what I'm doing. I think the air pressure is probably even higher right now. Probably have to bring her down. Right now it's probably at like 38 since from the heat. We started at 34. So, what are we on here? Highway 128. We're trying to get over north to the ocean, to the PCH or whatever you want to call it, Highway 1. And we're gonna drop a couple gears. So this is, thank you, sir. And see, they, they kind of like just give you a lane. It's like, okay, some of them do, some don't. <laughs> Essentially, you just go down the center of the road. Oh, good songs coming on now. So this is this whole road is like thick trees and enclosed like see how the trees are over top of the road? I'd be afraid if I bought a motor coach that was super tall, I'd be scraping on some of those trees and scratching my roof. Navarro, population 67? Wow. Nice sized town guys. There's actually a store for that many people. I guess there would have to be 67. That's that's enough to have a store. Oh, it's getting dark. I'm gonna pull my sunglasses up on the Schubert. 
Uh, hit another gear, uh, smoothing it out. Woo! Definitely. Ford brake, 32. Man, it took me forever to drive this. I guess we're just dropping it by a third of the time. Anyways, so far I'm really in, getting used to this FC1. Um, I mean, it's nice with the GPS, it's nice with the radar detector that's missing right now. He's got heated grips installed, a USB charger, a little extra mirror for when you're passing, I guess. I'm not sure yet. But he's made it a nice, comfy, uh, good bike to actually tour on. Like, you know, you can see it's like a great bike for this long distance stuff. And it's not as big as the RT, uh, what was it, the RT1200 I rode with the BMW uh, around San Fran. San Francisco. Oh, we got another tunnel. Tunnels are always fun. A little skinnier, though, for the splitting factor. So shitty. That thing's got to be heavy to pick up now. You just kind of got high sided. Oh, let's get in here. Hey, you got the strip. Come on, step on it. Leg dangle, leg dangle. Whoa, into the corner. This RT is getting it run through the face as It has the side bags which we took off, but essentially it has the same amount of luggage then. It's just not going to be as comfortable for a passenger back here as the RT. And speed bump with an arrow, looks like you hit it. Woo! It doesn't have like the big cowl, like you know, the Harley old cowl. And you're going to feel more air, and you did this lens doesn't go up and down to block the wind, but. I mean, look at the price of an RT versus this thing, too. This thing is like one-fifth the price of an RT for a similar year comparison, I probably. I mean, the RTs are so much new, they're like, oh, what are they, 30, you know, close to 30 grand, I would imagine, with the features you want. Breakage. Whoa, no, 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 the first. This is really cool. Okay, drag race time. Oh, shit. <laughs> Too much throttle. Whoa, we gotta go, we gotta go. Up. So, it's a little wet in here. Being a little cautious for sure. Lean off the bike more. Reduce that lean angle on those touring tires. I wanted to show you these giant trees. The ground is wet. It's a sunny blue sky day, but the, the road is wet when it in the forest there. Now it's dry probably. But it goes to show you that forest was thick. Now we're like kind of in and out of the forest here. This is quite a neat road. Except for it's wet in the in the shadows, but it feels cool too. I mean, it, it, you feel the moisture in the air. Just, just look at this. It's like some redwood forest or something probably called. Wait, maybe a map says. No, don't see nothing. Yeah. You gotta keep, you gotta keep on your speed here. You can't cross that solid line of. <laughs> that's a one slippery yellow line when it's covered in uh, the needles from the trees. We're driving west on Highway One North. Driving southwest on Highway One. I don't know. This is where it starts, maybe. Pretty much we're on our way to. Somewhere. Fort Braggs, maybe? Oh, look, the road looks wet. Ah, it can't be wet. It's dry. 15 miles per hour corners. Wow. Oh, there's the ocean. That's right. That's why I was here. So when I went left, when I went the other way, I was going down the ocean. 
around the way. Look at it, it's so beautiful. Probably don't need my Schubert sunglasses on. Boom, they're off. This thing's a good, we're on the highway with a scooter, dude. Doing 70 is that miles per hour, yeah? No way, no way, no way. Got a tuck, I'm full throttle, 80, 80. Oh, we're doing 85. I hope you can see this. Sitting on the passenger seat. We got no foot controls. Oh my god. Oh, we're pushing 85. We can take the right lane. We're, uh, we're coming up. We're hitting 90 almost. We're, uh, oh, too much wind. Oh, the thing is nimble. It, it's, it feels nervous. It feels nervous. It's, you can fall at any point. We're full speed ahead. Oh, we're getting 87. 87. 90. 90. 90. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead.